you would think that you know that would be that might be a system that we're going to have to use to kind of track obviously again the inventory so and and so and then that would be helping us to construct the income statement used to create the tax return on the schedule c so if you're using a tax software for example you might have a perpetual inventory system tracking the inventory as you sell uh, the inventory items or you might be using some kind of periodic inventory system possibly using some kind of flow assumptions and whatnot first in first out last in first out weighted average to calculate uh, the inventory in some way shape or form so changing your method of accounting for inventory if you want to change uh, your method of accounting for inventory you must file form 3115 application for change in accounting method so Again, we would kind of like to avoid typically the change in the accounting method because we have to request it and therefore it would be nice if we can get things set up properly for the first year of operations on the Schedule C so that we get, we have everything, we don't have to change accounting methods for inventory or cash versus accrual uh, and so on and so forth. But if you do need to do that, then you can obviously request possibly a change. So items included in inventory. If you are required to account for inventories, include the following items when accounting for your inventory. Merchandise or stock in trade. Obviously, if we sell inventory, then you can think of the same things we would have used in the business as inventory depending on how we are using them. In other words, if we had a tractor or if we, you know, if we, if, if we had a forklift, and we used it in the business to move things, then the forklift would be equipment. But if we sell forklifts, then the forklifts are inventory, right? That's the general. So raw materials. If you actually make inventory, then it becomes more complex. Now you're manufacturing inventory instead of just purchasing it, marking it up and selling it. That means you're going to have raw materials that are going to be included in like wood, for example, to make guitars as the end product. The raw materials are going to be in there as well as the work in process. So manufacturing company has now the wood that is in process to then make the finished product. And then you'll have the finished product. Supplies that physically become a part of the item uh, intended for sales. Valuing inventory. You must value your inventory at the beginning and end of each tax year to determine your cost to goods sold, Schedule C, Line 42. To determine the value of your inventory, you need a method for identifying the items in your inventory and a method for valuing these items. So obviously, normally, you know, you would be using some kind of system, possibly like a first in, first out system, a flow assumption system gets a little bit more complication complicated for for uh, uh, manufacturing uh, when you're making things. And then you have to deal with the fact that sometimes you might have inventory on hand that has deteriorated in value. So you're holding on to something that was worth something, but now it's deteriorated. So how do you account for that uh, kind of kind of thing? These are you have to report this on the Schedule C with a cost of goods sold calculation, which will include a beginning and ending inventory number. So inventory valuation rules cannot uh, be the same for all kinds of businesses. The method you use to value your inventory must conform to generally accepted accounting principles for similar businesses and must clearly uh, reflect income. So in other words, the tax code is the code that we're conforming to if we're a small business. If we were a large business, for example, uh, publicly traded, we would be subject possibly to other regulations such as generally accepted uh, accounting principles if we wanted to like sell on a publicly traded stock exchange or something like that. Uh, for example, the tax code and for a small business, we don't we're not going to be selling on a stock exchange. We're trying to conform to the tax code, but the tax code sometimes will defer to things like the generally accepted accounting principle because they should be the best practices. So generally, we, sh we should be valuing the inventory. They've deferred kind of to what the normal practice would be for inventory valuation of a similar industry. So your inventory practices must be consistent from year to year. Consistency is a core concept for uh, accounting 
And obviously, again, the IRS is reflecting that. 